Some women talk to men from a place of emotional or intellectual superiority, mm -hmm. and it sets that precedent, and that's what makes him defensive because now he feels like, oh, what? Be you're challenging you, me. You're challenging me, and you're expecting the worst out of me yeah. simply because, what, I'm black? Yeah. Right? And, and that's been a lot of men's expectations. So my only kind of argument has been if men are expected and, and are being asked to have grace for women mm -hmm. and have an understanding, do our due diligence to understand all the intricacies of what the woman has been through, um, even her natural cycles and the whole nine and how that affects her disposition, mm -hmm. there needs to be that work done from the female delegation for men. I'm hearing from men that that's not the case. Women are assuming that they've already done the work but they're doing the work for them. And I think a perfect example of this, if, if I was to ask a group of women, um, you know, why are you or your female friends um, single? Most women would say, I don't know, right? Um, Stacy's a lawyer, mm -hmm. Elizabeth is a doctor, um, uh, the other one owns a Mark business. A CEO. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And as a guy, what I understand is, oh, your friends are great men because you're evaluating them from a feminine curriculum for men and not acknowledging that the way that men are gonna evaluate them, it's a different set of rules. We don't give a shit that she makes six figures. What's she look like? We don't give a shit that she's a doctor. What's she look like? What's her disposition? What is her skin like? And, and I think that's what gets lost in this, in this conversation because we're assuming that our curriculums are the same. Well, I was going to say that, too, same. because I feel like the most um, challenging part of this entire conversation for me is the rigidity in these roles, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which everybody can, everybody has their own preferences and how they approach relationships. I think it's natural for to, to take a stance on that so that you can be, you can bring your best representative when you are out in the world dating and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say, like, it sounds hella ghetto it is. <laughs> in the dating pool right now. And I, I feel for y'all. In saying that, I feel like the rigidity of these expectations, though, is really what the cause of all this, like, the, the cynicism and even the, um, what it sounds like is just, you know, men feeling very, or men feeling powerless to this like men don't know how to bask in their feminine energy well and that's, that's what i was saying they don't we'll get to that we'll get to that i think i think yeah. if if i think that yeah. the we cannot today in 2023 have the same traditional mm -hmm. uh values and and approaches to relationships as we have in the past because things are so different mm -hmm. and so to still come to the table with those traditional values you're kind of already setting yourself up Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think that expecting those values from people who don't even present that is mm -hmm. also kind of like self-sabotage as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, when you, when you were talking about like the women in their, their jobs, I don't see that as masculine. I just see that as the way that they have expressed themselves in the mm -hmm. world to achieve what they wanted. I don't necessarily mm -hmm. think that's no, no. masculine. The, the, the point I was making wasn't necessarily saying that that's masculine. It was just a point of value system, right? Mm -hmm. So the things that those women assumed made them more valuable in the dating market actually doesn't move the needle for them at all. Sometimes it actually makes things more yeah. difficult. Yeah. But that's but that's, that's a problem. problem. That's, 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 that's the problem. problem. Well, like you're, the saying, <laughs> you're saying that saying, oh, because he's a doctor or a lawyer, those are like those masculine qualities or things that you're saying. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. So, no, that's so not what, what I'm saying. saying. No, what I'm saying is. Unfortunately, I think a lot of times when we talk about um, entitlement, we talk about men, right? Mm -hmm. He expected me to give him some butt because he bought me some flowers, right? Okay. However, women also have a sense of entitlement. And some of that entitlement is, I am this caliber of woman. I ex I, I'm entitled to a good man. Mm -hmm. I have this type of position or education. I'm entitled to a good man. And what that stops them from doing is considering some of the personality or character flaws that they have because they're just leading with, 
I'm this and I've achieved this. I graduated from Harvard. I did this and I did this. How don't I have a good man without acknowledging or even taking the time to identify the fact that you're terrible to be around? Mm. That's like you, you, you're not a that's you know like, you're not a good person. That's like taking a woman who's the CEO of a company but mm-hmm. won't date the janitor. Mm. But, but let's be for what, real. What's, what's so, the problem with what? But why? That, that's her preference, mm-hmm. and there's no problem in, with you, that. You, you no know, there's you no know problem. That's, her, no, that's what she likes. Mm-hmm. But it, it seems like it's a lot of what you guys want is for women to be more sensitive to a man. No, in, in, no, 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 no. What 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 I would say is there's absolutely just like the um, Ebony K. Williams thing. I don't expect her to date a bus driver. That doesn't make sense. What I'm saying though is. If she then gets back on TV and says that, why am I not having luck with men? She has to look at herself. That's it. So my thing is, if you are a woman who's high achieving, high earning, the whole nine, should you date a man who's less than you, shorter than you, makes less money than you? Absolutely not. I I believe everybody's entitled to their preference. However, do not expect to get what you feel like you're quote unquote owed. Because if you haven't done the work to even figure out what the thing that you want wants, if we want a certain job, right? I want to work for Google. I go on Google's website, I read the job description, I even try to see if I can set up coffee dates with people who work for Google so I can get a sense of what Google is looking for. Because I'm not entitled to a job at Google. Similarly, what I'm asking of our more successful sisters is, Take time to learn what that guy that you claim you're entitled to actually wants. Because you'll be surprised that the thing on your resume that you thought should have got you in the door, Google doesn't care about. And the thing that you might have been neglecting, the bit of experience or the bit of uh, the community service thing that you should have done, that's actually what would have got you the job. And I feel like that's the disconnect a lot of times between... Mm -hmm. But that's there's, excellent. There's a, but that can go to men. That can go for men too. Absolutely. Said, no that facts. Was an excellent explanation facts. of what is lacking. But if you took out women and put just mm-hmm. men in there, it is both genders Absolutely. that need to do that. And like I said, I just I feel like men want to mm-hmm. grab those men that are you know not at the CEO and the lawyer's level. They need to bring themselves down and understand that, okay, if this is not what's wanting to pursue me right now, Mm -hmm. then I need to pursue elsewhere. I need to stop expecting this woman to work on herself so she can be ready for me. I need to work on me Mm -hmm. so that I can be, Mm -hmm. I can be on her radar. She can see me. So it's like, excellent point, Mm -hmm. but it that's goes a, both that's ways. For people. That's it goes both ways. It's for all of us. We need to that's that's Let's trained. go to her real quick. We're, we're, we're trained to look at it from that perspective. Well, when mm-hmm. you train to learn something, guess what? Yeah, you now do? you're learning. Mm-hmm. Get trained to learn but, something else. Correct. I, I, I get that. I get that. But what I'm saying is that if the world has a view that I, if I'm a CEO of a company, right, mm-hmm. and then a woman is attracted to me because I'm a CEO of a company, maybe she's a CEO, right? What I'm saying to you is no different from the celebrity realm. People date with inside of the, that, that particular realm, mm-hmm. right? So what I'm saying to you is that instead of dating on those particular realms, why not date based on who's the best outfit for you? Mm-hmm. The janitor could be the best outfit. Right. But in your mind, you're thinking that this is less valuable, but this could be the one for you versus oh, i got to date Denzel Washington mm-hmm. because I'm Holly Berry. Right, 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 right. See what I'm saying? Right. Oh, yeah. So, the yeah. point that I'm making is you can see it fails over and over again. You got plenty of examples. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dating a celebrity doesn't guarantee the success of a, re- a happy relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't show. A, right. date, dating somebody that has equal amount of value financially mm-hmm. doesn't equate to a successful mm-hmm. relationship. But it's at the top of people's priorities. It's at the top of people's mm-hmm. priority. But the thing is, that's people continually blinding themselves by that, that illusion. Mm-hmm. That's not a real reality. The reality mm-hmm. is if you're looking for a love mate, then it should be looked at differently, right? Mm -hmm. It should be looked at differently, not just from the perspective of what do I have that I can give to someone else and what do they have that they can give me? Right. Because see, at the end of the day, it's about love, no matter how you break it down. Mm -hmm. Finances don't equate to love. So if you're dating based on what I have and what I can provide, right? Mm-hmm. Then you're setting yourself up for failure at the end of the day. But right. again, that's men. Oh, let's go, go, let, go. Let's back. go to Isa real yeah, quick. She's been, oh, she been crazy. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, I really didn't have anything to say. I, just, I, I was just chuckling because, like, when you were talking about um, 
Like, okay, for me, like, y'all need to date to value, like, to value, too. Like, if you work at McDonald's, like, okay, maybe y'all need to go for the CEO or the owner of your McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And it just made me think of Kevin Samuels, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. And it makes me think of um, these books. <laughs> I saw her face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, okay. no but That's like. Because I'm, you know, the man, he passed away, so God rest his soul. But I'm just saying, like, to me, like we were talking about earlier, like these buzzwords, like another buzzword is a high value man or a high value woman. Like, like I said, I really didn't have anything to chime in, but to me, just hearing, like, how you were talking, like, okay, Kevin Samuels would say, well, like, okay, well, you're a size 10 and you want a CEO and you think he's going to look at you. Well, so I think like I, I, I think what a CEO that, would go for. I, I, I don't care about those roles. I just think it's just lesson, right, we quick. need to understand that it's not. There's nothing that's just fundamentally an issue with just this gender or just that gender. It's. It's across the board. It's across that's, the board. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not true. Yeah, that's the thing. That's so that's what true. I, that's, well, I'll yeah. I think, say. I think there's some overlap, but just like I said, just like we need different things, we have different problems. There are some problems that are unique to men. There are some problems that are unique to women. And all I'm asking for is like space for us as men to be able to air our grievances to y'all. Just no, like y'all have so space. You have, you have it with the so right woman. The, with the right woman. I no, think that's it, the thing. I mean, I mean, right I mean on, the, on the macro, right? Because mm, okay. even in my experience doing what I do, mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of resistance. And I think mm. that resistance is based on women's um, idea that they are benevolent, right? Like most women say that they can be naturally uh, uh, feminine or submissive and then they say, if, mm -hmm. dot, 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 yeah, dot, yeah. dot, which means yeah. condition, For sure. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. While expecting that on our first date, I'm opening the door for you. If some dude jump out with a gun, I'm jumping in front of it. So it's like my masculinity, <laughs> I said masculinity, it's my right. masculinity, mm -hmm. it should be initial, but yours should be conditional. I, and that's one I of think, the grievances men have. But can I just say, I think that's just across the board. I think honestly, I, to be very honest, I don't think anybody on earth like unfortunately i don't think we've sort of kind of grasped like unconditional or like conditional i that and for me i'm speaking from like a spiritual perspective like i know i believe that god loves unconditionally like if he says and if it says in the word there's nothing that i can do that was is that it will separate me from god's love like that means there's nothing like even the worst thing that i did to myself that makes me unlove myself like to god that's nothing but to people like we don't do like we like oh man you made me mad like like it doesn't mean I'm, I might not love you any less, but it's like you, you right? Like you made me mad, so I think that's just like a human thing. Like mm -hmm. we hold ourselves like we are bound to condition. I just yes. like like. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing either. I don't, I don't mean either. I don't think I don't so. Either. I'm not saying it's a I bad thing, but I'm just saying like I like again. I feel like we're sometimes we make the same argument. Like, I, but we be saying the same thing. I, I, I'll I say know. one of one of the unique that. things that men are concerned about and put it that way because men w weren't the ones begging for women to become masculine mm -hmm. women becoming masculine is a consequence of men's failings mm -hmm. you know women's circumstances but mm -hmm. men weren't asking for women to become masculine mm -hmm. with that being said women now to your point are asking for men to become more soft and feminine and as you put it in touch with our feminine oh sides God. It's, let me right. can, I, can I say let something? Me finish, let me finish. When you when you done, of course. I'm sorry. So with with that being I'm said, sorry. I think one of the um, difficulties, like if I'm thinking as a younger dude, like mm -hmm. for instance, I, I use this uh, analogy. Do any of y'all play guitar? No. Have you ever played guitar before? No. Attempted. I picked it up. Okay. <laughs> one of the tough things about playing guitar is that it'll hurt the shit out of your fingertips. Oh you have to build calluses over time mm -hmm. to be able to play guitar. Mm -hmm. So with what that being said. Pick? or use a pick, but if you really want to get good, you got to, you know, use your fingers. And with that being said, over time, your fingertips will become rough as hell. Mm -hmm. What's tough is women, this, again, this is a metaphor. Women are asking us to learn how to play guitar, mm -hmm. but maintain soft hands. Yeah. No. And that's, why do you say no? No, because you picked up the guitar. Mm -hmm. who, who told you to pick up that guitar? Made selection. Who? Mate selection, because we knew that 
playing guitar, again, using the metaphor of playing guitar, can uh -huh. differentiate us from other men and uh -huh. give us a higher likelihood to seduce women. So it's so, men that did this to each other. We're, we're doing this led by, we're peacocking, right? We're trying to mate. Uh -huh. And we, we understand that what is going to help us become more successful at mating are things like size, attractiveness, status, money, the whole nine. So we go for those things, right? So mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, guitar analogy is just saying that if I know how to play guitar and mm -hmm. Steve doesn't, mm -hmm. and we both have the same uh, level of riz, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull more than he does. Mm -hmm. But one of the consequences of me knowing how to play guitar is my uh, fingertips are gonna be callous. Let me, let me take it to the animal kingdom. Cycle. Let me take it to the animal kingdom. So like bucks, right? Bucks, usually die male, male uh, deer or whatever, bucks, they die from arthritis. Why do they die from arthritis? Because they have big, massive horns. Mm -hmm. Guess what female doe select for? The man with the biggest horns is going to mate first. Mm -hmm. If our biological code is to mate, and we grow the biggest, most elaborate horn that we can grow in order to mate, but that thing is simultaneously killing yeah. us, that is the dilemma of a man. So in that uh, example, it's the horns, but there are other things in, in our communities, whether it's you know the, the, the gangster dude or the athlete or whatever the case may be. And I'm just saying it would help if women considered the role that they play in some of the things we do to seek your affection. So what are we, what are we supposed to do, though? Give them the to be, grace that they want. Grace, that's it. Okay, but do y'all That's like it, because, because what tends to happen is Women, and going back to the guitar analogy, you're complaining that my fingertips are rough without acknowledging the fact that I learned how to play for you. Now, can I ask what you a question? Put that do down. Now, yeah, you like, do that? In, this, in this case, did the woman asked, like, this the is, woman that you were interested in, mm -hmm. she said, like, you, you went up to her and said, hey, mm -hmm. what, what do I have to do to get with you? And she mm -hmm. said, you got to play the guitar. No, again, and then you pick up the guitar. Again, I'm, I'm, ta guitar. I'm talking about on the macro. Okay, because so I'm, I'm, I'm using guitar as as a metaphor but this could go for um you know some dudes in the hood they no, turn to crime uh getting money the whole nine those are different quote-unquote guitars and are women walking up to individual men and saying that you need to learn how to do this no however when we look at the men that are getting selected it is the taller by guy who? Like, by women okay. the majority of women no, you guys create it's this the guy comparison. with money in the you, whole you are, you are pitting yourself up against these other men Thank you are thinking absolutely for women. That is, you cannot expect a woman to mm. give you grace for a situation you created with other Thank men you. and also go, that grace part well you, you say men give women grace that women don't give to them mm. women have had how many years of having to be graceful Mm -hmm. And the moment we step into our own and we start to realize that mm -hmm. we can exist in the masculine and feminine energy together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. men are all of a sudden, well, notice me, see me for who I am, but mm -hmm. let me be. You, you see what I'm saying? So, it's, but, it's like that. Hold, but, on, hold on. It's, yeah, it's, it's like you, you, want us, you want us to mm -hmm. fix ourselves. Make sure that we're giving, we're, we're, we're not giving off masculine energy. Make mm -hmm. sure we're, we're being this feminine woman for you. Mm -hmm. We're making sure that we see this table as this construct of us working together. Mm -hmm. But also, in all those things, mm -hmm. make sure if the man don't have this, 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 and this, mm -hmm. that you've set forth these standards on by other men, not women, by other men. Mm -hmm. And in your back of your mind, it's because you think that women want this, but you're really doing it because it's what you think women need. Right. Then mm -hmm. if you don't have those things, that woman also has to give you grace on top of everything else. Correct. Right. Right. Did anybody ask? Here's the thing, Here's the thing. Like, I remember there was a Bill, you know Bill Burr, the stand-up comedian? No. Yeah, well, he's he's this white dude. He's funny as shit. But he did, yeah, yeah. He did a set talking about um, how white women are now social justice warriors, and he basically talked about how <laughs> he basically <laughs> talked about how like during people's oppression, y'all were our sidekicks, mm -hmm. and now you're taking the posture of being the oppressed, even though you were the oppressor. It wasn't as overt as the white man, but you. You, you, he said you stepped your Gucci booted uh, boots over the oppression line and you want to now claim victim. And I say that to say, we entered this conversation kind of assuming that the grace was one-sided. So grandpa didn't give grandma any kind of grace. Um, grandpa- well, he was out here running the streets. But, but see, again, 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 this is, th these assumptions are fundamentally flawed because 
sometimes when grandpa came back from Vietnam grandpa or he came back from, from Germany, he came back to find somebody else's kid. And he raised that kid. He but we don't talk green. about he that. He had some. He, he lived some but, in but, Japan. But, My uncle did it. This but, be for real. Uh, but see, see but, but, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My point, my point is this. My point is this. When we talk about uh, um, grace, mm -hmm. we talk about it from the perspective of assuming that one party was benevolent, a.k.a. grandma, and one party was vindictive, a.k.a. grandpa. So even in the scenario I just gave you where grandpa had to raise some other man's child, you will come up with another scenario as to why maybe he had another family. Maybe, he, But when it's the other way around, we don't, we are not, we, we don't default to coming up with other assumptions. Like, for instance, um, grandpa beat grandma's ass. We don't say, well, grandma was probably fucking the milkman. We don't say you stuff don't? like that. No. Mm -hmm. On the macro, that's not how those conversations are had. But whenever it's time to acknowledge the ways that men are hurt, we have to rationalize. And it's not even a black thing. I think generally, we don't know how to view men as victims. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to view women as perpetrators. So we will justify it in our mind as to why this man deserved X, Y, and Z, or why he was morally unjust and he had it coming or whatever the case may be. But generally, we don't do that to women. All I'm asking is... If we're going to expect men to be, uh, to have softer hands, to my analogy, and to have more grace in the whole night, we have to, first of all, acknowledge the reasons why, whether overtly or covertly, women have also participated in the things that made our hands rough. Now, whether women asked us to go to war or whether women enjoyed the peace that was created from us dying, it's part of it, right? And all I'm saying is, Instead of this culture of, well, men need to be more, 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 and more, we need to take a beat to acknowledge all the things that men, for better or worse, had to become for you. What's crazy I is how stop women are always on that, what, that, what we need men now. to do and what we need men to be. We do mm -hmm. harp a lot, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. But also, during this entire conversation, you, you, the men have told women what we need to do based on the larger grand scale. Mm -hmm. But in the grand scheme of things, the ones sitting at this table mm -hmm. don't share those grandiose ideas. Those mm -hmm. are the everybody else has. So mm -hmm. is it really, really on the grand scheme that everybody thinks like this? Or are we looking at what social media is putting out there or just who you've come in contact with? Oh, no, I was just answering your question. Small mindedness. But no, I, I was answering the question of how can men become more in touch with the feminine side? Grace. How can men feel more comfortable not necessarily uh, resting our value on how much we make or how tall we are and all that stuff? Grace. Because the reality is, and this is part of what's not discussed, a lot of young boys, part of the reason why they grow up to be future and, and pimps and the whole nine is because when they were growing up, they were gaslit. Mm -hmm. They were told that you buy a girl flowers and you nice to her and all this stuff and she's going to fall in love with you. The reality is not that clean. But that's not our fault. That's I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's your fault. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that you had a role in it. So, yes, it's the fact that their father wasn't there. He was a Debbie, whatever the case may be. But a lot of these things were told by the mom and the mom was preparing him to be a great man for a 30, 40 year old woman mm -hmm. without acknowledging what he's going to see mm -hmm. at 16, at 20. And that's all I'm saying. So when, when this guy grows up and he's resentful of mm -hmm. the gaslighting and the double speak that, he, that he's heard from women, is valid. It's, and and it's, he needs to be understood. Like, like you heard the, the, the toy scenario mm -hmm. where women, the way they grew up, their toys were totally different from the men toys. Mm -hmm. Like the men toys, we played with, we played with Tonka trucks. We was always prepared to be in the workforce, to be the providers. The woman always played with the Barbie dolls. So they had this illusion of Ken and Barbie. This was a reality for women when they were growing up because they were taught to be able to look at men this way, mm -hmm. right? So find you a Ken, right? That was the conversation in every household. Not mine. Can we be right? mine either? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, like, it's, like, it's like where we're, the generalization is coming macro, from. Macro, macro. We're talking about on a grand like scale, scale, on a grand mm -hmm. scale, because... If you look at the, the reality, right, the re just got to look at the reality. We're not talking about the small, minute realities. We're talking about the grand reality. If you look at every conversation a woman is having, she's going to choose her mate by what? His status. 
So no. what Obi was saying is, if you, if you look in the animal kingdom, this is nature. This has nothing to do to like, go back to the macro, mm -hmm. right? If you go back to the macro... I, I want to hear what you had to say. Right? So you go back yeah. to the macro, let's just take lioness mm -hmm. and lions. Mm -hmm. What do lioness do? They hunt. For who? Their families. Who, no. Their children. Their children. Who's eating first? The man. But the it's the woman hunting for the man, yes. right? She's hunting for the man. So how are we comparing? Okay, so I'm going to finish. She's finish. hunting for the man. That okay. means the man, he will help depending on the, the size of the, you know, the, the needs to be taken down. Uh -huh. But the reality is if there's a group of lioness, three, four, to maybe one, maybe one male, maybe three males, mm -hmm. right? If the woman is going out and they're staking out dinner for the male and mm -hmm. then they allow the man to eat before they even eat. Mm -hmm. That's nature. That's law, right? So if we look at that in every kingdom, but why though? Right? I, why? Why? No, I, 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 I want her to answer. I want her. Okay. To, I wanted to see mm -hmm. if you look at this mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. without feelings and emotions, mm -hmm. right? Not based on what you was taught and I was taught, and we look at law and how things operate. Mm -hmm then why do those things not fall in place when it comes down to man and woman in today's society? Logic and so reason. So we're talking about... We huh? have logic and reason. Mm -hmm. we're, so not, logic we're not animals. We have logic and reason. No. The ja jazz, what you got? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, Jazz. You, you, said, let me say, you said logic and reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Logic and reason was taught. That's not divine nature. Right, but... but so but logic, logic, and, logic, logic and reason can only come from curriculum. That has nothing to do with nature. So what I'm saying to you is, let me, if I walk you to the end of a mountain, do you have to have logic and reason not to jump off of it? Yeah. Instinct. It's instinct. So it's totally different. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be taught that. Yeah, our genitals don't have logic and reason. We don't have logic and reason. So what I'm saying to you is, we are taught to think and perform certain ways so we're taught to think and perform certain ways like male and woman characteristics mm -hmm. right we're having a conversation about around women and men characteristics you operate a certain way i operate a certain way right that's based on curriculum we're having debates and discussions based on curriculum what does your divinity say what does your divine nature say you're supposed to be like when you meet a man so I know you want to speak. Go ahead. I've been yeah, let's start with, with y'all yeah. and letting y'all speak as men and get your points out. Mm -hmm. When we talk about leaders, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. A leader is not just somebody that's leading, but somebody that can also take the back seat mm -hmm. and learn. For sure. That's a leader. Mm -hmm. So, to go on the point of when you were talking about how we've been conditioned to grow up, right? Like girls with the Barbies, blah, 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 blah. even in that, mm -hmm. women have been helping with sustaining the cycle of making a man the leader. Okay. Yes. So with giving you guys the hand up of being that leader, that mm -hmm. has trickled down into different consequences. Mm -hmm which is a reflection of you mm -hmm. as leaders. Mm -hmm. So I guarantee if you were leaders that were saying, I'm going to work and I'm going to make this money. And then if your partner too is making that money mm -hmm. as well, and you don't see her as a threat, but you see her as, I'm not going to say equal because we're different in our own ways. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you saw it in that way, rather than her being competitive to you, and therefore you say, in order to make me feel powerful, you just got to be pretty, you got to be nice, you got to talk to me a certain way, then, you know, that's what works for you as a man. But if you would see it as where you guys can collaborate and help one another, things will look so different. Because then you're understanding from each other you're able to acknowledge this is who you are as a woman. This is what you can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. This is who I am as a man, and this is what I can bring to the table where you can have productive conversations as to what each other really needs and what they want, not based on what the society tells you what you should be and how you have to be. Mm -hmm. So a cycle has been created 
which has created all this rigidness of now expecting a woman to make up for that rigidness that leaders mm -hmm. that are male leaders have created in this world. Mm -hmm. When it comes to when we talk about, and I'm bringing this all together, mm -hmm. when we talk about our grandparents that were together and they had to be together, that's because there were men that did not believe that women should be on their own, they shouldn't be making money, and that they should rely on a man to do so. But now when she gets money, or now there's that woman that came out of that situation where she was shamed mm -hmm. for making more money or being able to do what a man does when she has taught another woman get your money oh and she's going for a man that's got the money now she's a gold digger now she's all these different things mm -hmm. that was all a projection and a cycle that was created by male leaders that wanted to feel powerful not it could have been i'm powerful and you're powerful how can we be powerful together and make this work but we have to fix it. And now we have, we to, have give to, grace. to fix it and give mm -hmm. grace. No, but no, no. the reality I'm, I'm, is, I'm, is we've been giving grace this whole time. It's just you don't mm -hmm. recognize it because you're not tapping in a certain part of yourself. You're not allowing yourself to tap into a certain part of yourself, which is the femininity side and say, mm -hmm. dang, you know what? This is really hard. Let me uh, let me share this with my lady or a woman that's going to be able to listen to me and talk with me through these things. Because if she's a real woman, she's going to walk you through it. She's going to help you through that where you don't have to feel like that anymore. But because you're a man and you want to mm -hmm. feel powerful and you don't feel like you're good enough, you keep putting this pressure on yourself and I you think, don't have to do that. I think what's difficult, though, is like just like I gave the example with the white women, women have helped establish mm -hmm. and maintain patriarchy as well. 100%. Mm -hmm. And we don't acknowledge that, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason why that's important is a lot of times we talk about these things as men created it, so men need to fix it, and then let, let us know, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to acknowledging the ways that we as women have also created and maintained this as well, and how we as women, our preferences, mm -hmm. our patterns incentivize the very behavior from men that we claim to not want to see any more of. Mm -hmm. it, there's a reason why some of the worst men you'll meet were raised by women. Mm 